To be honest, I just feel like this is not a game to be mad about because we played well. Yeah, we missed chances and that that's enough to be upset about. But generally, looking at Chelsea from last season and this season, we would have lost that game in a dying minute or something. Even though we created many chances, which was my fear still that like even with all these people that were bought, will be will we be able to create chances? Obviously it's better but it's still not better. We are still finding it difficult to break teams down like Palace. But we'll start from the top. The lineup when the lineup came out, Mudrik was on the bench. Basically, all the people that played on Thursday, except Enzo, were on the bench. Um, it was a strong lineup, you know, whatever, all that good stuff. Um, it's, it's a bit worrying that Carney wasn't even on the bench. He's not even seen at all. Like, at least by the actual ones that were like, no, he would, that didn't even make the squad were at least in the stadium and things like that. But we see him nowhere and Cassidy can make the squad. Like, so crazy, but... Chelsea, or what can I say? <laughs> Could I even forget to mention Sancho? Because, like, I feel like the adrenaline or the high from him, like, signing Sancho, even though, like, I was indifferent, but just the fact that he's there made it feel like there will be better days. And things I saw in today's match just felt like there will be better days. Rapper just got. <laughs> Just made me feel like there'll be better days, honestly. That's why I just had to put this, in, this interjection here, you know, because it's like I forgot to do it when I was recording, but then while watching, I remember that I forgot something and I put it in. Well, yeah. That's what I was saying. <laughs> um, then, first off, well, in fact, around the whole match, we were um, dominant, we held possession, we were creating chances. I would have even said we would have buried the game in the first half if like Madrike buried his two chances. But we eventually like broke the deadlock. We scored Papa assist, Jackson goal. I'm happy because my FPL at least at least took something from that game, you know? And I thought, oh we're going to build on it. I was happy. I was like, yeah, confident, like yeah, let's go, you know. But it didn't look like it. As the game progressed, we tried to bring on people. I would say that Unkunku really impacted like those last few minutes of the game where we're pushing. Felix to try it. I don't know. The game is just like I'm I'm not upset like by the coach or by the players. Like I'll have wished for them to like have scored, but I'm okay. Like it's the, it's just the beginning of this so this is the third match. So like it's not good to drop points, but it's not like we're fighting for the league. Yes we should be, but let's be realistic. Our goal this year is like top four. So like at least we didn't lose. That's what I would say. Like at least take a point, if anything. But yeah, so honestly, I, I don't have much to say. Like it was it was a good game all round, like technically wise, um, press wise was a good game. You know, I'm sorry that I keep looking away from the camera. Like the Maya matches also <laughs> I'm looking at that. By the way, if you have come this far. Why don't you subscribe? You know, subscribe, subscribe, like, comment, something, give me anything. But I pray Gusto isn't injured because I know they say that James might come back international break, but I don't think they would like start him. If anything, he will come on. So I just pray that Gusto does not have an injury. Maybe it's even good that he has this fear. So that maybe he will not go on international break. I don't know, but like I'm just praying he's okay, really. Um Enzo was shocking today. I would say he's the one that him and Fofana were the ones that significantly played badly over the course of the match. Um, people that played well, Caicedo, Palmer, um, Akata and Kuku when he came on. Who else? Kukurela played well, Gusto played well. Those, those are the people that played well for me. And people that were like, no good, no bad. Fofana. Jackson, Madoke, Neto. And the only reason why I have Madoke here, even though like he created the chance to create the chance that Palmer assisted Jackson for the goal, but <sighs> us during this game is his fault. I blame him. Him and Jackson, like they have blood on their hand because the chances Jackson had at the end of the game and chances Madoke had at the beginning of the game was enough to see the game out. Well, on to the next, really, we cannot dwell on like this thing because I feel like the vibe around us is a lot better, less toxic. And I feel like I'm more patient than I was when Pochettino took over. Even though I don't like this coach, but I'd rather just wait. So, yeah. Um, that's it, really. Nothing more, nothing less, really. Mm. The ref was weird. Like, 
so many yellows unnecessary i feel so unnecessary yellows like so much. but yeah guys we've come to the end of the video this was a fast one feels like a fast one for me anyways but we're coming to the end of the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe I really appreciate it i will see you after the international break and if i'm wrong just grab that <laughs> bye